Welcome to Storytime. I'm Azriana, a volunteer from the National Library Board. When I'm not volunteering, I work for DBS Bank as the manager of DBS Bank's Spark Studio. As the head of the DBS Spark Studio team, I lead a group of creative individuals like videographers, producers, editors, and graphic designers who are producing wonderful creative content for DBS Bank. Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name is Adelia and I'm a volunteer with the National Library Board. When I'm not volunteering, I'm working with DBS as a senior associate and I manage the volunteer programs in DBS. Today, my lovely colleague Adelia and I will be reading to you Toto, the Little Imperial Chef, written by Lin Shikina and illustrated by Ong Shenghua. A very special thank you to the publisher, The Straits Times Press, for granting us the permission to read this book to you today. So let's get started! Long ago in China, there lived a little girl called Toto. She loved to cook. Every day, she whipped up feasts for her family. One day, the finest chef from the all-girl cooking school in the city visited her village. Toto's father decided to enroll her in the cooking school. Her father thought, She might cook for the emperor one day. Before she left, she received two gifts, a secret recipe from her mother and a copper coin from her father. The new sights, the sound, the smell, of the school trailed Toto. Her fingers itched to cook. However, her seniors, Fei Fei and Shou Shou told Toto, All you're allowed to do is wash the dishes and sweep the floor. Fei Fei and Shou Shou kept a sharp eye on Toto and picked on her and bullied her. But while Toto was doing her daily chores, she watched the other students cook. At night, while everyone slept, Toto would cook soaring eagles, ferocious tigers, and enchanting mermaids. In the Thousand Flavors room, she mixed sauces to create new flavors. In the noodle making room, she rolled and she pulled the dough until her arms ache. Her dishes grew larger and wilder. In her secret corner, she brew a storm of raging seas, wild jungle balls and deep ocean treasures. One morning, the head chef, San Chunyang, announced a contest to choose the best dishes for the emperor's birthday banquet. And that night, Toto was so eager to try her new recipes for her competition that she grew careless. You wicked girl! Always lazing about and daydreaming. Now you're pinching food! Fei Fei and Shou Shou cornered Toto. Toto protested. No, I'm planning to join the cooking competition. They laughed. <laughs> you cook for the emperor? They brought her in to San Chunyang to be punished. In three days' time, if you can create three dishes that I have not seen or tasted before, I'll let you stay, said San Chunyang. Toto spent three sleepless nights testing and tasting her dishes. Finally, she presented her dishes to the head chef. The first was a beautiful scene, scrubbed from dumplings. San Chunyang nodded her head slowly. The next dish was a dumpling shaped like a golden ingot. The head chef was so surprised to find a copper coin in it. Toto explained, Whoever finds a coin in a gold ingot dumpling will be doubly blessed with prosperity. San Chuliang smiled. The final dish was a teeny weeny dumpling. San Chuliang popped it into her mouth. After a long silence, she spoke. How did you prepare this dish? Dodo smiled. This is based from a secret recipe 
handed down from my mother. They are called pearl dumplings. San Chuniang said, I've never seen or tasted these three dishes before. I shall allow you to stay on at school and you shall be my assistant at the Emperor's birthday banquet. Everyone cheered and clapped. San Chunyang directed hundreds of chefs to shape a variety of dumplings for the banquet. The Emperor received many gifts, but his favorite was the pearl dumpling. After the banquet, no one dared to bully Toto again. She learned hard from San Chunyang and grew up to be one of the finest chefs in China.